to IT Boost YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show about the Active Inspire whiteboard software. In my previous video, I explained about the screen recording simply using the PowerPoint. And that video I explained about the Microsoft whiteboard also for online teaching. So I searched for two to three hours to find out a, a best uh, whiteboard software for screen recording. So I found this one Active Inspire whiteboard software. It has more, more, most of the features for online teaching. Mostly importantly teaching mathematics there are a lot of tools and um, many more tools also giving activities uh, like that there are many more tools so that I found that's the best and you can use it the free version also for the for the basic teaching uh, you can use the uh, free version also if you want you can buy that uh, the whole version also so simply the free version is enough for simple online teaching so watch my video and learn about the active inspire whiteboard software First, I will show how to download this Active Inspire Whiteboard software. So, go to Google and type Active Inspire. So, when you type and search, you will get a link here. Uh, here, uh, download Active Inspire. Click that link. In my description, I, uh, uh, I have given the link also. There also you can use that link. Here you can select your language. So I will select, in my case, I will select English, British. So you can select your language, whatever you want. These are the comfortable languages. So you, after that, you can select your operating system. If it's a Windows, you can select Windows. If you are using an Apple computer, you can use Mac. You can select Mac. If you are using Linux, you can select Linux. So I will select Microsoft Windows. And after that, you have to enter your details, right, with your email email ID, and you have to check this one. And when you, right, so after that, submit button. So when you submit those details, uh, they will send a link, a download link, to your email because I have I have already submitted my details. That's why it's not showing. So you can submit your details so when you submit you will receive a download email link to your email after that from your email you can download your uh, software and you can do the setup as usual so after doing your setup you will get the uh, uh, software in your desktop here active inspire so I will right click that one and you can click open So this is the user interface, you will get a, a startup screen for any tutorials or activities, right. So here uh, there will be a page, initially you can go to file, you can click uh, the all, uh, new right screen size flip chart or a specific size flip chart, you can take whatever you want. So in default you will get a screen here. So here I will show some uh, important tools what we can do here, right? This is a, normally the file menu you can save, right? You can export, right? You can export as images, PowerPoint images. You can export it to images. You can export it to PDF, right? So, sorry, you can import. So you can import from PowerPoint. If you have any contents, you can bring it from your PowerPoint. You can export it as JPEG. Or a PDF or bitmap, right? So we'll see mainly we'll see the tools here. So in your right hand you will find a small. You can bring any side wherever you want on the black. I I will bring it this side. Where is uh, is convenient to you? You can bring it to that side. So here this is the first tool main menu, right? So that is the main menu here. File, but but you find here everything will be there on the top. So this is uh, switch profile, that is your account. Right. This is annotating, if you want to annotate on the desktop, you can click this one and you can annotate it. Right. 
right. So when you click this one, see, you can, it will go to the desktop. So in the desktop, whatever you want, you can draw, if you like, you can draw, right. Here you can brush, right. Uh, pen tool, right. Whatever you want, you can draw on your desktop, on your computer. That is one, uh, that is the desktop, and again you can click that one and you can come back. Here, this is the desktop tool, that is also something you can, this is just annotating on the desktop, just drawing and racing. Here, you can go to the desktop tool, all the tools you can get. If you want, you can annotate, if you want, you can uh, get the screen on screen, right? If you want, you can take a clock, right? If you want to go back. You can click here, return to uh, flip charts. Right. So that is that, that tool. So here you have uh, the next page. If you have more page, you can click the next page. Here if you click file, new, uh, another page. Here we have some pages. I came back to this one. Okay. Here now you can move to the next page. You can come to the previous page. Right. Like that. Right. Here. Uh, you have the colors, those are, this is the size of the pen, right, those are uh, basic tools, right, so I will show the important tools, mainly here you have the pen, eraser, highlighter, fill color, the shapes, you can draw shapes, you can click the shapes, here you will get the shapes, here, you can draw a line, you can draw rectangles, you can draw rounded rectangles, if you want the rectangle with the fill color, yeah, I select that the color from here. If you don't want fill, here this one front fill color. Uh, click you can see here. Without fill color. Right. The line color, if you want, you can take it from here. I change the line color from this side, the blue, and I'll take a circle. Yeah. Right. You can draw triangles, uh, diamond shapes, polygons. Right. Hexen, the shapes you can draw, you can clear everything using this one clearly, clear annotation, clear object, right. So you can draw shapes, right. Now we will go to the mathematic tools, here you have, uh, you can click here also, here the tools, and you click the tools, here these are the main tools, you will go to mathematics, here you have the ruler, you can take the ruler, so when you take these mathematic tools, see the icon. You have different types of here. When see my mouse cursor here, this is my mouse cursor. When I bring here to this right, so you can move your ruler. Yeah. You can move your ruler. When you go to the corner, you can angle the ruler here. You can see here now you can angle the corner here. Angle the ruler. Right, see the icon. When you come here, you can increase the size of the ruler. You can increase the size of the ruler. Yeah. And you can take a pen tool. online classes without a camera, putting a stand and taking, right, so you can do this one, right, we will see some more mathematical tools, so here I will click here, match tools, you can set, uh, set scale, yeah, this is also the same, you can uh, rotate it, you can move it, right, okay. I will clear everything from the screen, first, right, here. Yeah. And raise it right the tools are there okay so here this you can uh, go here setting all here uh, quickly here also you can take the compass the ruler if you want to go move here match tools you can take the uh, compass protractor here. that's also same here you can rotate okay you can rotate when you come here you can angle it, you 
can use a compass here. From here also you can take here, go to here, maths tools, a compass, right. So here in the pencil you can change the angle, here it's showing the angle. So nicely uh, you can use, I'm not a mathematics teacher, right, so the math mathematics teacher can use uh, more eff effectively, right. You can draw. pencil and you can draw a circle on a specific radius. You can mark it, you want, click on the pencil and here. Yeah. Like that you can use that one. screen screen recorder or you can go to screen uh, sorry insert mm, sorry tools more tools screen recorder full screen or you can select area also so I'll go to full screen if you want to select area you can select a full screen so the whole screen is now getting recorded here you can select your microphone right you can click record right I'll record this one and it asking where to save so I'll save that one in my desktop. Right. I'll say record three. Right. And I'll click save. Now it's when when I'm doing it's already started to record. Right. Record the screen. You can minimize this one. Right. So I'm uh, here I'm recording the screen. So when it is recording, while it's recording, I'll explain the rest of the things. Right. You can go to insert. Here page, you can insert a blank page, right? You can take a, a, a snapshot of a screen, a shot, activities, right? You can, these are the very important, you can do activities, 100 grades, activities, alphabet activities. So when you click alphabet activities, there are some building activities here. Choose the design, insert, here. You can use this for the primary Students, you can use these uh, alphabetic activities, right? You can refresh, right? Yeah, you have to go to insert, page, right? Activities, calendar activities, are you in calendar activities, you can go to the calendar activities and go here, right? So here you have the calendar activities, right? So you can share your, using the Zoom, right? You can share your, these things. And they, uh, you can allow them, right? So here are tools. Oh, sorry, insert page. Activities. There are a lot of uh, coloring activities, differences. So join the dots. Math activities. So when you select uh, math activities, you can go to math activities and insert. Right. Mostly it's made for primary students. Right. Yeah, you have some math activities. Can make it out. Insert page. Insert page activities. Join dots, puzzles, 
spelling when you go to fossils you can give some fossils whatever the fossils they want you can see uh, you have some fossils you can do the fossil pages also you can create there are a lot of activities from their resources also you can get activities right word building writing so these are the uh, right you can do really a lot of things really a lot of things i try to make another lesson uh, regarding this active inspire whiteboard software uh, right so still we are screen recording i'll show that one here we have minimized you can Click that one and stop the screen recording. Right, you can straight away play or we save that one in, in our desktop. Now you are seeing the recorded screen, uh, right, screen recording. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop that one. I'll show to my uh, desktop. So here this is the recorded one. I saved as record 3. So straight away you can record from you, you can record it and you can send it to the students also. So there are a lot of things, lot of things, right? So you can uh, in this active inspire. So when you use this, uh, you can just practice on two or three days, and you can use this one uh, very indirectly for online teaching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned about the Active Inspire Whiteboard software. If you didn't subscribe our channel, please subscribe our channel. If you have any questions regarding this Active Inspire Whiteboard software, just uh, comment in the below window, definitely we will reply for it.